Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Uh, this, uh, if you do watch this later in the future, this, this is a New Year's Day. So welcome to 2023. Um, on today's episode, we will talk about modern women and their demanding and unrealistic expectation on their dating profiles. And if, you, if you've been following my channel, you see this over and over again, rather than just simply looking for a nice man, you know, with a couple requirements. No, even in, in their 50s, they're still asking for the world. Let's get into it. So she's 36 and says, wanted, physically fit, easy on the eyes, AKA tall, dark, and handsome. I have a weakness for chiseled jawline, beard, or stubble. <laughs> yes, you're lusting for Chad, ma'am. We understand. You, you're, you've been dating, wanting Chad. Uh, but Chad won't commit to you. It's very clear why, because I mean, you're leading with all of this physical has to be exactly the hottest dude I've ever seen. Okay. You keep waiting. Let's continue. Good personal hygiene, an incredible smile and straight white teeth. Ah, I melt. Oh, I'm sure you melt for Chad, ma'am. I'm yeah, I, I bet he's a super hot guy. I can't wait to meet him either. But, uh, I bet he won't commit to you and that's what you're frustrated about. But we'll, we'll continue. A sense of humor, fluid and sarcasm, hardworking and intelligent, book smart and street smart. Oh, but ma'am, keep going. I mean, obviously he's gotta be better. Okay, let's continue. Kind, respectful, genuine, thoughtful, complimentary, affectionate, and a gentleman. Why is super? Why has Superman not come in and swept me off my feet? I don't understand. I mean, th this is completely unrealistic. And now that it's 2023, it's unrealistic in 2023. Absolutely ridiculous list of requirements. You're 36, ma'am. You don't get everything you always wanted when you were 25. It's not realistic, is it? Emotional damage. We'll continue though. She's not. She's not done. Oh, she's not that. A man who brings out the best in me makes me a better person and of course must, with a capital must, be a professional. The bitch is crazy. And, and I, I wish this were just a one-off profile, but this is the, the, the consensus of a lot of women on the dating apps. Like, I want perfection. And where is he? Where is this amazing man of my dreams with all these requirements? Ma'am, what do you bring? What are you doing to secure this kind of man? That's my question for you. What are you doing to find a man like this that is super hot, giga Chad, who's wealthy? Because I mean, when you say professional, that means he makes a lot of money too. So it's just delusion, but that's that's why I started the channel. All right, let's move on. So she is 51 and gives us six asterisks and then says, must be black. Nope. Ma'am, you can put you know, how these dating apps work is this. If for anyone who doesn't use dating apps and watches my channel, um, you swipe left or right. If you swipe left, you don't match with them. Thus, they can't talk to you. If you swipe right, they can. Why you need to put these kind of qualifiers on here is pointless. I mean, just because the guy, so even if a non-black guy swept, you know, swipe right on her, if she didn't swipe right as well, it's not like he could talk to her anyway. I don't know why. It just comes off that you're, you know, it's fine to be selective, but it does come off a little. And I don't know. I can't remember if she was uh, African-American. But anyway, let's move on. I don't want your money. Don't need you to pay a bill. Just want an honest, trustworthy, loyal, caring, loving, and who doesn't need to keep uh, going on a dating app when he's already in a relationship. The bitch is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so I have so I have I have just a couple of things that you don't need, but here's my laundry list of things at 51 years old that I do need you to be. Again, I mean, it, it's funny how does a lack of self-awareness again, and I know I read that really fast, but that was for, for, for uh, my making my point. Uh, let's continue. She says, where my feelings and emotions matter. Someone who will tough out the bad times and have fun and laugh. These, this is terrible grammar. What, I, do you understand how a period works, ma'am? When you stop, when a period like ends a sentence and like it has to actually be a sentence, but no, she's just gonna put periods wherever she wants. Okay. Someone that's there for the long haul and knows what commitment and dedication is. Someone that's ready to say capital yes to a real honest relationship and not some boy game. Yes, let's. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Let's shame men. That's that's the way to get a man to commit to you. Let's shame men in your profile and tell us how terrible we are, okay? 
And then again, this laundry list of stuff at 51, your options are less than they were. You're, and I know, we all know what she really means by all this too. She wants Chad to commit to her. It's, I, I'm sure she has guys in her DMs who've matched with her who would give her the relationship she wants, but she wants the most attractive guy to give her a relationship and you know, be real and all the stuff she's saying because we all know even average women have hundreds if not thousands of likes on these apps and they could get whoever they want, but it's not, or sorry, they could get matches, but she doesn't like who she's getting matched to. Let's continue. So she's 52 and says, very sarcastic and facetious. I will pick on you and dish it back. Then she goes, heart, heart, Jesus. Okay. <coughs> but then she goes, author. Wait, was Jesus super sarcastic? I don't remember that in the Bible. Was he like really sarcastic to his followers and to, you know told them to F off and dish it back? Yeah. I, fascinating you put Jesus right there. Anyway. Um, she goes, I'm professional, girl boss. Bruh. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, Let, let's continue. Get, it's 52 years old. Now, I can't imagine why you're single so far. Let's, let's, let's continue to read. Uh, tomboy chameleon, six inch heels and designer dresses or ball cap. <sighs> um, yeah, ma'am. Men don't want girl bosses. I don't know how to tell you this. So you can keep thinking that this is like some, you know, medal of honor that you are a tomboy. And the other, the other thing too, this girl boss and tomboy, men also don't want tomboys. The last thing men want is a girl who calls themselves a boy. <laughs> I'm just letting you know Bruh. that that's not a thing. And yeah, sure, six and chills, the great. Um, not really even sure what she's getting at with this, but let's continue. Uh, she goes, of course, 52. She loves tats, so that tells us a lot. I like bad boys. Where's my bad boy, uh, Chad, who will deal with my girl boss tomboy energy? Let's, uh, yeah. No. Not getting that guy. He's not going to put up with this. Absolutely not. Let's, let's, uh, we'll keep reading. If you can't keep my interest here for, with a convo, maybe a couple days worth, why the heck would I go for coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Women. <laughs> I mean, sure. I, by the way, I mean, I guess you just, you think you have so much time and suitors uh, that you can deal with this, this bad attitude as well. Like, I mean, no, we, who wants to deal with this? All right, let's continue though. She's not done. Laugh out loud, not joking. <laughs> okay. Challenge, hiking, exploring, kayaking, wave runners, lake. River, beach, nature. Uh, yes, you've, you've listed many bodies of water or things near bodies of water. Uh, what what are you driving on here? Okay. Now she just, and, oh, she had commas, but now the commas are gone. So she's, she's done doing commas. Here's just a bunch, list of things now. Nature, car shows, classic rat, rat rods, low riders, pinup, all outdoor events, concerts, camp glamping, quads. <laughs> okay, so... Here's a list of the things you're into. I, I'm all for that. But again, here's the issue. You want a man to come into your frame and, you know, deal with your stuff. And you're 52. You don't get this kind of selection. You're not 22. You're not 25. You don't get the man of your dreams anymore. It's just not realistic to sit here and go fit into all my stuff deal with me being a tomboy girl boss. And, and again, she's not, she doesn't list here, I'll, I'll take a beta guy, I'll take a, a follower type guy. No, she doesn't want that kind of guy. She's probably the kind of person too, that would say, I'm really intimidating. No, you're not. <laughs> and, it, and my friends, we all know at the end of the day, what will happen to her is this. That's why you would buy a girl, die alone. Because this is completely unrealistic. These unrealistic and hyper demanding profiles, we will just keep showing over and over again because it's just outrageous. So let's continue. Uh, so don't have her age in this one, but she says two amazing things. She says, the way to win me over is be genuine, funny and know how to communicate. Okay, that's fair. Don't have a stiff personality. I will be bored in two seconds. 
Nope. Yes, entertain me. Because men, men are on the dating apps to be your clown, your muse, obviously. So yeah, please don't be stiff. Um, and that, you know, this is an interesting point for all, all the gentlemen to watch. You know, not every guy is super exciting. That's and that's okay. We don't all have to be super exciting. And this, this, the the attitude of thinking every single guy is going to be, why isn't he making me all tingles? Because not every guy is that way, and that's okay. But no, it's constant excitement. Where's Chad to excite me, and you know, make me super turned on all the time? It's just, it's again, delusion, delusion. Let's continue. I'm convinced that if you try to send me some gym selfie or make some dumb sexual comment before I know you on a personal level, I will be completely turned off for life. <laughs> Women. <laughs> <laughs> sure, that it is fair if a guy goes right to sexual stuff, that's completely fair. But also, did you need to put this in your profile? Did you need to shame all guys reading this and go, Blah, 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 this. Because if the guy does it, you just know he's not the kind of guy you want and just stop talking to him. You don't need to... Why go negative? I, I'll say this over and over again. You catch more flies with honey. There's no reason to be so negative. It doesn't do any good for anybody. Just come... You know what you come across as entitled and angry when you, when you write this kind of stuff. All right, let's, uh, let's move on. She is 49 and says, okay, so during my observation of this damn site, I have come to the conclusion of this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you just seem like a friendly gal already. Just a really nice lady. Let's, uh, let's, let's continue. It's a lot of broke men on here. First off, I'm going to start with period. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Amazing grammar. If you are locked... If you are locked, don't even think about contacting me. What is that? I guess in a relation, is that some code for relationship? Uh, okay. Not really sure. All right. If you into poly, hit the X, cuz never. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, this, that's, all right, let's find out how good this grammar is. This grammar is fantastic. All right. If you ain't got no car and no job and looking for love, your profiles are clearly fucked up. Wow. The bitch is crazy. So, so, gentlemen, this says it all. If you don't have a car and, you know, you're on tough, you're, you know, you're having a tough time. Maybe, you, you know, don't have a job at the moment. You maybe got laid off or something like that. By God, don't look. Women don't want to love you. They want to love your things and what you can do for them. So that's exactly what she's saying. I don't care about. And also, let's be clear. This is an overweight single mom with these demands and this kind of attitude at 49 years old. And she's probably telling friends, I don't know why I'm single. Oh, I, I do. I, I do. I definitely know. I'm de I absolutely definitely know. Okay, let's continue. Um, if you're trying to fuck F-U-C-C, when we meet, slap yourself because it ain't happening. In all caps. <laughs> Women. <laughs> wow. What a friendly gal. Uh, uh, let's continue. Um, if you ask me for nudes, gifts, half on a date or room, you better off playing with yourself. <laughs> oh my God. Nope. I will say this. Who on earth would swipe on this woman? Like, who would read this and go... Yeah, she's the kind of girl I want to get to know. I don't even know who's trying to... I mean, I would almost have to believe she has to be kidding that guys are hitting on her and like do, trying to get in her... I, I think she'd be lucky for... And anyway, unbelievable. And also, what's... You know, working out... We've talked about we've talked this so many times on the channel. Working out your drama in your dating profile is ridiculous. Why are you talking about all this? You know... Emotional damage. Yeah, it's so weird. Okay, let's uh, let's continue. So she's fifty three. Um, also, this is this is bad grammar uh, day. By the way, there's just tons of bad grammar and and uh, incomplete sentences, uh, you know, frag sentence fragments. But uh, okay, she says, make a moment perfect with a capital P. Live out loud. Live your truth with lots of capitals. I don't know what all this is. Okay. 
Don't let fear of other people's thoughts stifle you. <laughs> what is this? Okay. I'm a traditional believer in love and friendship. Okay. If real is out there, I want to find it. Okay. Don't be. All right. Now, here's, here's where it's time to shame men, guys. You ready? Shallow. Vain. Materialistic or selfish. None of those traits result in love of any kind except love for self. I is that true? I don't Nope. I don't know about that. Okay. I know my worth. I'm starting to be one of the rare ones. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. I, I mean I would make fun of so if I dude saw a dude's profile going, you know, I'm this rare diamond of uniqueness and this is this a it's almost like a poem that she's writing here to find again okay I, I don't wow and then she's talking about don't be shallow vain or selfish and then she's talking about how she's one of the rare ones i mean have you heard of self-awareness ma'am i'm your huckleberry all right uh, i only have truth and realness to give okay I will never be impressed by your accolades, money, education level, or your achievement. That's a lie. I, I don't know how else to say this, ma'am. That is an absolute lie. There, there, there is no way you are attracted to man for anything other than those things. That's exactly what why you're attracted to men. And all this stuff about... So you're saying the guy can't be, I guess, into attractive women but and then you're not impressed what are you impressed by i'm curious just here's this and this brings up a great point by the way don't list what you don't want on your dating profiles maybe list what you do want but also you don't need to make it a laundry list of things it comes off incredibly entitled you, no one deserves anything that's the truth no you er, things are earned everything is earned all right let's uh, move on from this Oh, so she's 29 and um, she says, no hookups, have good style, ask for snap, Insta, and then she lists her Insta. Okay, want one person to give me 25, eight. And then has arrows pointing to it and says 25, eight, it says, read. <laughs> oh my God. The bitch is crazy. <laughs> Ma'am, why do I have to give you 20? I don't know you. We don't know you. What you this is not that is earned. That kind of thing is earned. Period. Okay. I'm done. Get it? Okay, sorry. So she says, read. So if that means you choose to not text me all day, I'm done. Get it. Wait, so I have to so let me get this straight. Chad has to simp for you and be on his phone all day and text you 258. Now, what does he get in return? I'm curious. So he has to have good style. And again, you're 29, so you want the most attractive guy. And you've got, she's a picture of her with her leg up and high heels. But what, what does he get out of it? What does he get out of it? I'm, I'm curious. Okay. And now she says, don't waste my time. Picky as fuck and a little crazy. And of course, my favorite emoji of all, she throws her hands up. <coughs> yeah, yeah, I'm confused too, because what... What is in it for the guy when you're this list of demands? You don't seem very friendly. You don't seem, uh, I the, the level of entitlement again and this this demanding attitude is just ugh, it's just gross. All right, let's move on. She is forty nine and says about me, uh, I'm here for magic, heart and soul activity. I love personal development, hiking, weight training, yoga, yummy food. Okay. As, but I mean, everyone likes food. I don't know why we put this. And she then puts the next dumb thing, travel. Everyone likes to travel. Got it? Okay. This is fine though so far. I don't actually have a problem with this. Okay. She says adventure. Yes, you don't want, the guy has to be super fun. We know this. We know, what is a cardinal sin? Being boring. If you're boring to a woman, she will dry up like the desert and she will leave you. That's, that's just how it is. All right, spontaneity. Passion, cuddles, playfulness, and laughter. All right, so here is this massive list of things I, I will say um, that she wants. I'm looking to meet a marriage-minded man who's open to a family one day. 
Now, ma'am, you're 49 years old. I don't know what planet you live on. Maybe you're not from this planet where people can have kids at 50 and then be okay. But that's not a thing. Like, you're almost to menopause. It, you're, the, the time to have kids is over. I, I don't know how else to say this lightly. You needed to find this man 20 years ago. I, I, and you still have this laundry list of stuff. And I'm going to guess you've probably told girlfriends, like, I've never found a guy that's good enough for me to marry, blah, 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 or whatever it is. And But it is now too late. I don't know. I'm sorry. Nope. I'm sorry to be the one that has to tell you this, but that's just the truth. The, the, the guy is not... You waited too long. All right, let's continue. If that is you, then say hello. Uh, yeah, I mean, the marriage thing, totally fine. Um, but as we talked about, women control the sexual market, men control the relationship market. What are you doing to secure this man other than here's this list of things that you want and you want kids. If you wanted the kids, your requirements should have been less years ago to find a guy to put babies in you, especially in your even your early 40s, but you're 50. Like, it's... <laughs> women <laughs> it's very unrealistic okay let's move on and uh, and uh, as, uh, as always I save the best for last so here she is so her name is Lake Chick <laughs> 31 okay I, I don't think that's a real name so I included her name now she says fully vaccinated independent don't need you <clears throat> that's a terrible way to start we've said this many many times men want to be needed they don't want to just be wanted it's a very important point. If you just think you just want a man and you're strong and independent, that's not a big turn on for most men. That's just the truth. Let's continue. I want to go on a date when time allows for it. <laughs> just, why, why did we have to, why did we put this here? Does it, sure, that's how dating works. At some point, you guys have time for each other and then you go on a date together. You, But you had to list this. Like you had to write this in your, okay. I don't get it. So then she says, and I don't really know what she means by this. She goes, no red, white, and blue. Rights, rights, rights. Flags are the best people that she has. The American flags are the best people kind of dudes. Emotional damage. In the comments, please decipher this, this uh, hieroglyphics. I do not know what she's even talking about. I, I, I really don't. I really don't get it. So please uh, enlighten me in, in the comments. Oh. She continues. Please know how to swim. <laughs> okay, sure. <I'll... laughs> she wants you to swim because she's, the, I guess she's a leg chick. Okay. I'm learning men don't listen to set boundaries. I, I, sure, but you needed to put this here? I, I don't understand. Now, she continues. Persistent personalities are annoying. <laughs> Women. <laughs> I, what does this mean? Like someone who pursues you is annoying or what kind of, I don't even know persistence when you're, what you really, are you relating this to? I, I, I really don't get it. All right. Um, but she's not done. So she's five, two. She's still in college. Doesn't want kids. Fine. Uh, it's want something casual. So that that all makes sense. Now let's see the next, uh, the second page of her profile. So she says, "My personal hell is people eating bacon." <laughs> I do have to admit sometimes that I think some women could be used to be like dropped out of Afghanistan because like just to get like some sort of perspective about what actual hell is you know it's something like and if you live in Afghanistan forgive me I'm not trying to slam your country but it is very tough for women and children there right now so um, but she continues smoking okay she doesn't like smoking um, football <laughs> um, and listening to country or Christian music I also will never believe in God or going to church. Okay, but this is personal hell? Football is really hell for you. I mean, okay. She continues. So never ask. Sports bar food or video games? Emotional damage! Ma'am, do you like men? I have to really ask you, do you want do you want to just date a woman? Because, you know. There's a lot of men who like bacon. A lot of men listen to country music. Maybe we're, I mean, just this laundry list of stuff. Now she is 31. 
but I'm, she's not super attractive. I mean, I, why do you get a man like this? Or all these requirements, just ridiculous. All right, let's continue. I'm known for, I spook easy. Not looking for a relationship or tons of annoying messages. Oh, by God, why would the guy need to talk to me? I mean, Bruh. good Lord. Okay. Bother me too much, I will ghost. <laughs> God, who would ever? Nope. Who would invest in this person? Okay. And then finally, if I say I can't meet today, you got your answer. The bitch is crazy. <laughs> know I, I don't know what why you're listing out all this stuff has to go so negative but um ma'am you're very entitled i hope you find this i don't even know i mean he the flag thing mixed with the sport i don't even know i don't know what you're diving up but uh before my head explodes again i will leave it there for today i want to thank you for listening to another episode of dating delusions i hope you had some laughs if you did like the content please like and subscribe below and uh, I'll see you on the next episode. Have a great night. Peace.